accents of the great sausage as it passes by our homesteads. Mer than Mary and father lucky I miss the great sausage day. Every year with this guy, I swear. What is his deal? Is he like the only person that enjoys this festival? You think so? Yeah, I mean, look around. He's the only one smiling. Is there anyone else smiling? No. It's just him. Spirits are high and joy is endless as all the broken see their fortunes restored on this, this the day. How does he rope people into this each year? I mean, what is he even holding? Look at that. What even is that? Is it a burnout torch? A baton? Thought it was a knife of some kind. A knife? Like a machete to cut the sausage with. Every year he carries that thing. I have never once seen him. Not once cut sausage with it. Never once. Hey, don't you think you're being a little hard on him? What? I mean, he's got something he enjoys. Why not just let him have this? Dave, you know that shirt you have on right now? Yeah? Dave, he is basically wearing that same shirt but his pants. Oh, what a prick. Yeah, that's what we've been saying, Dave. Suddenly at the head of this, but it is the people. The oh, people who they... Mother, look, the festival has returned. Might we go outside to join it? No. But, Mother. You will watch from inside. Mother! You will watch from inside! Mother? What? Pale George is breathing on me again. Well, whatever the issue is, you're just going to have to work it out between yourselves. Hello, brother. Hello, Pale George. Eternity, space, time, a confluence of the two and a singularity which you are seeing right now, which is the Psst. Hey. Hey, Roger. Yes, Kevin? Roger, who's the other man on the horse? Roger, I don't think he's supposed to be here. Was there supposed to be a third horse guard for this? No, I'm pretty sure it was just you and me. If there was a third horse guard, they would have told the other two horse guards. He's not even dressed like us. Well, he's kind of freaking me out. You there, sir! What is your business here? Oh, yeah, this is giving me the willies. Well, maybe he'll go away if we ignore him. What? You're the one who pointed him out! I just don't want to escalate the situation. Oh, that's easy for you to say. He's not even on your side of the procession. Oh, all right. I'll ignore him, but if he slits my throat or something, it's on you. Heart without heart, except it is with heart, and it's a heart filled with the sausage festival. Link by link by say, link by Say, what do you think is in here? Beef, yeah? God's got a cow flake up from probably beef. Yeah. I suppose that's what they're telling people, it's just that this thing is so huge. There's no way of knowing what they didn't just grab any random animal they could find and shove it in the casing. I mean, I've been marching here for a while, I'm pretty sure there's a live raccoon in there. What? Listen. I think he's getting closer to me. I'm sure it must serve some practical purpose, or why would he carry it? Mother! No! This is such bullshit. Gonna play the sausage festival? I could be on stage at Bonner. Oh, I'm going to beat him with my trumpet. I swear to God, I don't even care anymore! All of you, shut up! Shut up! Shut your awful faces! Shut your mouths! You don't even know how good you have it. None of you. This thing is miles long, and every year you're close enough to the front to be part of the festival. I worked the back of the sausage last year. Do you know what it's like to work the back of the sausage? Do you? Do you know what happens there? What? Literally nothing. Nobody sticks around to see the back end of the sausage. And the people that do stick around are only there because they're hungry, and they think they're going to eat part of it. It's literally just a silent hike in front of starving people where you have to constantly watch their disappointment as you cart food away from them. I beg to be brought up here. 
I clawed my way to the front. And what do I find? This! This display of sour attitudes and ungrateful demeanors. He's right. What have we become? We've taken for granted the festival and all the good it brings. Thank you, peasant. Thank you for showing us the error of all ways. You're welcome. Of course, the punishment for scolding nobility is death. So we're going to have to kill you. I mean, I figured as much. Brother? Yes, yes, Ben George. I've seen another prophecy of your impending death. Oh, for fuck's sake, Bill George! 